What's going on, mother truckers? Uh, this right here is something that you guys definitely need to listen to. You know, a lot of owner operators and carriers are always like, you know, broker transparency. That's what we need. So today, something really epic seemed to happen. Uh, basically, there was a carrier that asked to see the rate con. And yes, by law, if you ask the broker to see a rate con, they got to show it to you. But you can be blacklisted. As much as people say that doesn't happen in the trucking game, it can happen, right? And so what did this carrier do? You know, this carrier put in a complaint and the SBTC, they actually helped their member do that. And after a year, the FMCSA actually saw it and then requested it from TQL themselves. You know, that's according to uh, the SBTC group. So, yeah, what do you guys do? So so we're a trade group, you know, very similar to OIDA, not on that large of a scale and haven't been around for 50 years, you know, but uh, we're uh, we're not your grandfather's trade group, you know, so we're out there, you know, quite zealous as as I'm sure you've seen. And, you know, we've been working on this broker reform issue, this broker transparency issue, representing small carriers, small you know, businesses in general, truckers, you know, all different types, company drivers, owner operators, independent truckers. And, you know, this broker reform thing is, is real big. And so, you know, we were the first organization back in May of 2020 to put in a petition with FMCSA. I know you've covered that a couple of times because I watch your show. And, uh, you know, we, um, we asked basically for them to strengthen the broker transparency regulations because we've seen a lot of these brokers out there that are abusing the regulations. In fact, we consider it evasion of regulation, which is actually a law. You're not supposed to do that. And so, you know, they're doing these waivers of 371.3, you know, uh, which gives truckers the right to certain information in terms of the loads that they haul for brokers. And uh, that issue has come to a head. You ready to talk about it, uh, Alex? Yeah, you know, um, we said we got to do something different. So we had one of our members who was trying to get documents on a load from January. We had her write a complaint to Secretary Pete. And uh, she did that on Halloween. Um, it's actually the one year mark from when they're supposed to do the rulemaking, right, which was poetic. And, you know, she put that in. And now FMCSA has uh, responded to her complaint. Uh, at the direction of Secretary Pete. And they actually contacted the broker, uh, in this case it is TQL, and um, they actually asked for the records. Um, TQL kind of brushed them off for a couple of days. And as I understand it, today they visited TQL in Ohio at their offices. Kind of reminds me of this guy who drove a truck there a couple of weeks ago. He said, yeah. you owe me $8,000, right? <laughs> Remember right, that one? Right, 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 right. So they went in and they got the documents and they they retrieved them and they gave them to the broker so the broker or, or to the carrier so the carrier's name our member is uh pink cheetah express and uh, dakota springfield she's actually a lawyer uh and a trucker which is kind of you know uh unusual they messed with the wrong one basically. they did they messed with the wrong one so she wrote a hell of a complaint and she got their attention uh, i know overdrive uh, alex locky covered the, the story not too long ago about her complaint and now big news today is she got the documents and although you know we can't really talk about the rates per se because of you know the confidentiality issues, we can disclose that what they were hiding, because you, you think they're hiding something, right? They must be hiding something. They were hiding that they paid her 56% of what the load paid from the shipper to the broker. Mm. And so now, you know, th this brings up, you know, um, all these issues. Uh, everybody's had these suspicions. We had uh, Bob Voltman, the former CEO of TIA, remember back in 2020 uh, mm. when all hell broke loose at the White House, right? He said, oh, no, no, no. Our brokers averaged, you know, 16% margins, they call it, instead of commissions for some reason. And, uh, and we know now that's not true. And we knew it the whole time, but now we're getting the evidence. So the message now to the industry is, and I'm so thankful to be on your show so we can share this with, with drivers, if any broker is telling you that you waived your right to 371.3C, 
in the regulations and you do not have the right to ask them for the records on a load where you were involved with the transaction and you want to get the shipper invoice to find out how much commission uh, margin whatever they want to call it you know uh, was kept by uh, the broker you have the right to do that it's nonsense it's an illegal unlawful um, waiver. Um, there's a law that actually has to do with um, unreasonable restraint of trade. It's in the U.S. Code. Mm. And it says any contract that is in uh, unreasonable, you know, in furtherance of unreasonable restraint of trade is declared null and void. And so it looks like the FMCSA has agreed with that. It looks like they've agreed with uh, our arguments, specifically uh, Dakota's arguments, that you know that it's it's evasion of regulation and they said we are not having any of this and we're going to ask you you know one time and if you don't give it to us over the phone you know and fax or email it to us we're going to come down and we're going to show our badges and we're going to come and we're going to seize the documents so now wow. anybody who's in that situation can now contact us. Um, you know, we're, we don't care if you're a member of SBTC uh, or not. You know, we're, we're here for all truckers. And so anybody who's in that situation that's a carrier or an independent trucker with their own authority, if you're having trouble getting records from your broker, whether it's TQL or any anybody else, write to us support at truckers.com and we will make the introduction to the fmcsa investigators who are hot on this topic and i'm sure they will uh, direct you to file a, a complaint online through their system and um and and i'm sure that they'll help you like they help dakota today congress will you know jump on our legislation and uh you know we we thank you for being out there and and spreading the word and you know, helping helping people understand that they do have, you know, an avenue to get the information that they're looking for to make good business decisions. And um, we're, we're happy to help.